Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hi there. Welcome to our Coffee Break. Look who we have joining us today, Kelly Grill, co-founder and co-director of the Hopkinton Center for the Arts, HCA. Probably needs no introduction, but we're so excited to have you at the, you know, on a, such a busy day for you. It's a very busy day. Yeah. I'm really excited. Absolutely. Tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Oh, for having us. Good morning. So what's <laughs> happening with you, Ms. Grill? Oh, <laughs> it's, it's wonderfully crazy. Lots mm -hmm. and lots of things going on at the center. And um, Chris Waldman, the co-director co with, with me, uh, we couldn't be more excited about what's happening there and how the community has embraced us. and. Um, you know, all the different classes and programs, and, and even more excited about what's coming next year. Absolutely. So, so let's rewind. Sure. You were on the show, I don't know, three, three years ago? Three years, years ago? I, I was I trying to think three. about that this morning. When I think it's been did, a while. So you were on, though, just prior to the whole grand opening. Yes. It was oh. about three years ago, yeah. yeah. Three, well, yeah, well, this is our third gala, so, so we're, we're heading into our third year. It's been two years we've been officially open. Mm -hmm. That's so so a lot's yeah. changed. A lot has changed. Yeah, a tremendous you amount of change. You absorb the um, ceramics now. In another yeah, so the, so the big changes are, um, you know, we, we've certainly increased programming tremendously mm -hmm. and added, um, you know, we tried to listen to what people wanted and we had some people from the community and outside communities come forward to say, oh, what about this, what about this? But one of the biggest changes was we added a ceramic studio and that has was um, a vision of the CAA, the previous organization, mm -hmm. and Chris mm -hmm. Waldman really, truly was uh, the champion behind that and it has proven to be the most exciting the most popular program that we have so wow. the entire first floor of the farmhouse is now a ceramic studio with nine wheels and so you could do really? hand building and wheels yeah. and we have two kilns. we had an rhh event home. there you did right when, it okay. start, when it started i couldn't make it but it was um Every everyone loves office. it <laughs> and I, I know like people have gone back yeah. but like now when you come into the gal gallery when they're isn't like a, a lot of times a show going on. Nice. You've got like a big banquet table with people's projects ready to pick up, and you can tell yeah. sometimes they're adult projects, sometimes you can tell they're youth. Well, that's right. what I was going to ask. Tell us a little bit about the range of participants in well, the that, ceramics program. That's what the beauty of it is, mm -hmm. is it's all ages. Anyone can do it. Um, so you don't have it by age. You can just, you just well, we have do it. By, we do it by age mm -hmm. only because of, of the, the yeah. style of teaching and yes. the level of teaching. However, um, all ages really are drawn to it, and so we, we even have some op open studio time. So wow. there are some times in the weekends where people can come, and, and Hannah or Cheska, the, the teachers, will be there to guide them, but they can just work. Um, and people love that. So it's, it's social as well. You're yes. coming and, you know, have your coffee and and There's got to be something the wheel. beneficial about the tactile nature <laughs> it of is. ceramic it is. work. I haven't it done is. that in years. You're making me want to You yeah, do it. Yeah, I don't know. know. Oh, I'm I'm <laughs> <laughs> seventh grade. Yeah. Yeah. How to do it again. I never it's actually on the coil. Yeah. <laughs> the program, thing where you yeah. made the, you know, that oh, kind yes, of thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, and there's that too. There's yeah. kind of, I mean, some the of the pieces are just remarkable. Even some from the kids, I would be shocked that that was a child that did it. Yeah. The teachers there are incredible, and, and the work is amazing that comes out. And a lot of it, there's, it's very prolific. <laughs> it's oh, constantly wow. bringing new things out. It's very exciting. Excellent. And then in addition to that, um, you know, we've expanded our musical theater program. We've ex expanded all of our lessons. We have more t teachers that are teaching So there. what instruments are being taught now? Everything from, of course, there's always piano, guitar, violin, and drums. Um, but we've also added mandolin. We've added um, all the... Uh, some string instruments, mm -hmm. um, some woodwind instruments, there's some trumpet lessons. Wow. Of course, voice is a big, big part of our... Um, so wow. That's exciting. How young mm -hmm. do some of your students start with you, mm -hmm. and how old? What's the well, range? Well, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that. I had a very exciting... I'm a new grandmother. Oh, yes. <laughs> I love that. Yes. Well, so, so we have two two companies that come in and do sort of mommy and me music classes. Okay. One is uh, Music Together, and it's a it's a wonderful program with all different kinds of instruments. Michelle Tate runs that uh, that. Is that program. the one where they have the song, the word to put the instruments back? It's yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. yes. And the kids love that. But the uh, and the other one is is new to us. They're out of New York, and it's actually a rock band. 
So it oh. is piano, guitar, and drums, um, and they'll they'll play rock music. So the parents uh, will enjoy it as well. A uh, school of rock, <laughs> little, little tainted love in there, but they change the lyrics, and then um, it's learning numbers and colors, and they're up and jumping and dancing, and it's Fun. it's it's lovely. So I, all ages. I wow. can't tell you just how important um, the arts, you know, whether it, it's music or ceramics or mm. and everything in between, but particularly with our youth, mm. because I always feel schools are so stretched on where to spend their dollars. Mm -hmm. And, you know, that piece constantly gets, you know, pushed and fringed and... and well, it's not STEM. And, and, and it is STEM, and people yeah. don't realize it. Oh, my gosh. Steam. Particular, but it's STEM. Yeah. It should it be STEM. And, and right. the arts, they've learned in the brain mm. that connectivity to mm -hmm. the math and sciences and the learning. And, right. and, so and in <laughs> fact, right <laughs> now, there are new companies out there that are doing rehab with music right. because of the impact they're finding that stroke patients, mm -hmm. if you take and put, give them music that they like, but mm -hmm. to the beat, mm -hmm. their gait improves better than just sticking right. them in a physical therapist and having well, them move. Musical therapy is a whole field. It Absolutely. is a whole field. And we, we've mm -hmm. had some things like we did Photo Voice a few years ago where mm -hmm. we brought in Alzheimer's, Alzheimer's crate. Wow. Oh. And they gave them each a camera and they went out to you know, take pictures and then through a series of prompts they asked them about the picture and what it meant to them. Mm -hmm. And there were all kinds of connections happening and memories happening for them and there's a tremendous study on what art therapy can do for Alzheimer's patients. Wow. One of the most profound right. things a woman mm -hmm. said was Thank you for bringing the world back to me. Oh, oh my goodness. You know, art can do that. That just things. gives me chills. I know. It's a culture. It's amazing. Well, what our, art our friend um, Joelle, her little boy Owen, is in that toddler class. Mm -hmm. And I was at our house getting a treatment last week or something. And he was doing something, and Melissa's playing with him. And I grabbed his little toy piano, and I was goofing around with it. And something came on the TV, but it had the same theme as you put away the music yes. instrument thing. He came, took it out of my hands, crawled across the room, <laughs> and like, put it away. And I'm like, oh, Joel, he took my toy. And she goes, oh, it reminds him of the song that he was. Put it so but yeah. even at that young, that there's some training going on, right. and, and it's Connection. developing an interest. And, right. and, you know, and it seemed like anything that was familiar that was like music then, went mm -hmm. zoom right over to well, the Well, just team. like, you know, the schoolhouse rock days yeah. of, yeah. of our yeah. youth, right? right? That's how I learned my pronouns, you know? So well, I learned that every day. Or not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or what a bill was. Or yeah. all those exactly. <laughs> 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 the movie with Jack Belushi. Uh, 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 something uh, of schoolhouse um, rock. Uh, <laughs> that was hilarious. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Jack Black. Yeah. So what else is going on? So, you so in addition yeah. to that, um, we, you know, this is the time of year to sort of reflect on where we were and where we're going. Yes. And and Chris and I, you know, really are excited about all the potential programs that we're going to be adding this year. So the really a lot of the focus is going to be in the performance center because we are now um, we have incredible donations from people in the community that have really brought it up to um, an outstanding space. You know between. Um, the, seating. the seating from the Strax and the acoustic panels from the Delbridges and the people that just really believe in this project and what we are going to be able to offer this entire community, the entire region, actually. Yeah. So I, we're excited about, you know, concert series that are coming in and um, we want to bring in dance performances and operas and theaters from outside troops as well. You have David Fallon's coming back. Yeah. David! He, and, and he's oh. local that people don't realize <clears throat> is world-renowned. But tell us about yes. him. And, and no, so happened. David uh, grew up here in Hopkington. And his name again is? It's David Jeremiah is, oh. his, is his stage, stage name. name. Okay. People <laughs> around here know him as David, David Mullins, Mullins. Okay. and his uh, incredibly talented, wonderful family. Um, and he just moved back to town, um, I think about a year ago, maybe a little bit longer wow. ago. He was living, he's actually a, a professional voiceover artist, and he's going to be teaching voiceover classes at the HCA starting oh, in January. Nice. Love it. So he's actually going to be on the show. Oh, great. Uh, sometime right oh, before, David's before the concert. And he's yeah. a lot of fun. But David, you've, pr you've heard his voice. You know, yeah. his voice Ooh. is on um, national commercials uh, all the time. Okay. So pretty much if you're sitting down watching TV his within the first couple hours, you, you will hear his voice. Okay. But years ago, he wrote a Christmas album. Yeah. And um, the music is, is outstanding. And um, I don't know, I have to ask him. He does have a Christmas album that he sold um, for us um, for, as a fundraiser last mm -hmm. year. Um, people around here, I've had it for 30 years. It's one of those I that have just stays with you. Mm -hmm. It's he, amazing. And so he, um, he did a concert for us um, last spring. It was his first time back. And it was just so 
such a lovely feeling. There were people in town that I hadn't seen in, in probably 20 years, you know, wow. that really helped David get a start. I mean, he has such an amazing story about, he was a kid, just like all these kids, you know, mm -hmm. extremely talented. People saw that in him and, you know, gave him his start and opportunity. He, I think he did Up With People, remember? Oh, yeah. 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 No way. I think that was the group. I hope I have that right. He was he did Up With he People. He was. Adorable. And that sort of got him a start. And then he moved to California and he was a singer, songwriter, um, artist, and, and, and traveled the, the country, um, oh, you know, singing. And then he, somebody one day, I think, he'll, he'll have to tell you a story, but, yeah. but he's, incredibly generous with his time and he's so he's bringing in some friends Craig Campbell and Steve Strait who were from town mm -hmm. to play with him his sisters um, it's going to be a really lovely concert it's gonna be the Saturday after Thanksgiving oh, and yeah, nice. so Very we figured nice. you know at some Started by that time you're ready to get out of the house <laughs> it was sold out last break it's almost sold out already yeah, it's, I mean, it's people need to get their tickets because that's, that's a nice thing to do when families visiting for the holiday that there's something yeah. in Hopkinton to and do and this is sort of a way to start it up yes. yeah. Yeah. but he promised not all holidays they'd pull Little Mustang Sally yeah. in there too. Yeah. <laughs> last year, when um, I had relatives visiting from out of state, yeah. I brought them to the Troublemakers holiday oh, concert, nice. and yeah. that was it's. And uh, I've the Troublemakers are amazing. They are. They are, and, and they keep so growing. They're now like thirty. 35 strong wow. and people from all over different towns incredible talent so they're gonna have their Christmas um, concert happening this year that first we have the Nutcracker coming okay. again and that was really popular especially with the little ones. Is it Monsters coming? Monsters is next weekend. Now what is okay. that? that so Monsters crazy. is uh, Interstage Left Theater is okay. our resident theater company and this is our little little one so this is first through fifth grade okay. it's called We Are Monsters it's a wonderful little musical it's gonna happen at the at the Performing Arts Center. No, is Susan at your up. place too? No, that's high school. That's, that's at the, the high school, school. okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I think that, you know, Darlene has mentioned this before. You are attracting more than just Hopkinton. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, we, yeah, we really are a regional arts center, mm -hmm. and, and we have it's such a unique location. We're sort of right in the middle in the, of Metro West, yeah. you know, very easy access for 495 and the Mass Pike. And so that people are finding that attractive, you know. So not only in so many ways, we, we, we counted up, uh, we have about 31 different communities that are participating wow. in the Arts Center right, right. now. But tell us more about the over. numbers. You were sharing some pretty, pretty impressive numbers of yes. just participation in general. We, we have, all of our data is showing us that um, we've had 12,000 people come through the HCA in one way or the other, whether it's art show or the theater or our classes, this mm. just this what, year. Wow. Yeah. Which is wow. Yeah. Wow. Our plan, is, our plan is to double that. Wow. wow. We feel pretty confident we can double that. I mean, that. I don't know if there's anything in town that has had that kind of draw in community. Right. And I know, like, when I sign into gallery shows, mm -hmm. the names above me aren't from Hawking. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's amazing. We had um, Ron Rosenstock, was, uh, he's a was world renowned photographer who showed in our gallery just wow. this past month. And he studied with Lancelot Adams. And, um, <gasps> and the illumination of light he does is amazing. Beautiful work. And we'll continue to. Yeah. So let's talk about if you're just finding yourself with a little bit of free time. Can anybody mm -hmm. just stand by and see what's going on? We highly encourage that. Please, please do. And and and, and now it's it's warm today. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I'm still saying, come by and sit in the garden. We have the beautiful healing wow. garden yeah. that was in memory of Nancy Barton, um, and um, also Anne Horton has mm -hmm. been very involved with that um, in memory of her son. And so there's a uh, lovely space to sit out there, just read, you know, have your coffee, have your lunch, and on the porch as well. So yeah, with the porch. Yeah. Sit. So yeah. talk about the healing garden though, and where that's located. And, and the yeah. space. It's right in the back, um, tucked away in a little quiet spot, has a, a fountain and a couple benches just to sit there. And, you know, Jeff was um, really clear, and what Nancy was looking for was he calls it a place just to exhale, you know, a place yeah. just to be. And we are, you know, highly encouraging people to come by. Mm -hmm. um, to the gallery always has a different show. Come look at the gallery show, and we, we will get people coming in from bust in from senior centers and from um, other social right. groups, and, and the school comes over quite often to see the different shows and just sit and be with us. Oh, and the amphitheater too. It's back. Oh. <laughs> The benches are back. Scott, yeah. Scott Dryden, uh, the lovely man that he is, is, is constantly helping us. And he came over with um, his son and, and laid them all back out for us. So oh, great. So, great. Like, I mean, yesterday I just came in and I, I, did, I wanted to see the, uh, the youth gallery show mm. that's promoting the event coming up on Saturday night. Yeah. And the talent like, seemed to range from five-year-olds to maybe 14, 15-year-olds. Mm -hmm. But when you looked at it, you could 
they were all youth impressions of what their vision of Van Gogh's Starry Night is. Mm -hmm. oh. So, and they were done in pastels. They were done in oils. There's one that's done in partial clay. Yes. Yeah. And you, but you can see it. Like, yeah. they they're not trying to duplicate the painting. They're right. seeing what they see. Oh, well, I'm so glad you said that because that was the intention. <laughs> I'm so yeah, glad that's, what you that's saw. a great segue because yeah. we definitely, you know, that's why we're so excited to have you here yeah. as you're here the day before the big annual event, mm. Starry Night. Mm -hmm. And you're looking so beautiful. And this is You've so got the Starry Night yeah. theme yeah. going yeah. on. Yeah. It's so cool. But, you know, <laughs> and looking you know, at this yeah. postcard, which, yeah. you know, we'll have a, on, on mm. the show, you know. It, but people are seeing these all over. And to me, it's just so beautiful, the mm. colors. But who did this? This who is a, this? A, a young student of the HCA. That that was her impression mm -hmm. of Starry Night. And we just thought it was so beautiful that it warranted, you know, getting on the set. But then, of course, our lovely, amazing, talented Chris Waldman director put all that together. But that image came yeah. from exactly what Darlene was saying. We, we didn't want to say copy it. We want to say, what is your impression? What do you, you, know, what do you see? What do you feel? What do you yeah. see? And what do you and, feel? And that is... Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a fun event. Tell it's going to be a it. wonderful yeah. event. And so the idea is to, we want you to feel that you're under the stars. You know, we'll have mm -hmm. um, stars that. above. It'll feel like a, a bit of a planetarium with some projections. And we have some telescopes outside. It's going to be a oh, full. Cool. Cool. That's what Chris cool. was sharing. And, and the weather's going to cooperate. It's going to cooperate. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a bright uh, full moon that night. So yeah. we want people to come out and see the stars and the moon. Mm. Um, we have a specialty cocktail called Moonbeam. And um, oh. Oh, you guys, and you guys are so, are so wonderful. So beautiful and oh. fun at, oh, every time. Well, we are, and we're still as Band. JP and friends. They're, great. <laughs> they're outstanding. You I cannot, I, I defy I anyone to them. sit down when they're playing. <laughs> they're just so wonderful. I'm yeah, yeah. yeah. really, excited. Yeah. It's great. Oh. It's and great. there's very few tickets left. I mean, you have a yes. limited amount of tickets left. Right. Yeah. Um, so there's still two. There's still, 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 still time. You can actually just go to, you know, hopartcenter.org. We'll have yep. the link up and everything else and still get tickets. But you've got some amazing kind of getaways and things like that yes. and one that you know sometimes gets standing ovations yes sometimes <laughs> every once in a while it does we we were very fortunate with people who have donated items to us mm -hmm. so we have um, two vacation getaway homes that are quite beautiful mm -hmm. uh, amazing that anybody would want to go to we have a yacht uh, for you and nine friends oh, Harbor wow. Cruise under the stars <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. we have um, two tickets to LCD sound systems which is a sold-out show in uh, the Guinness Arena and it's a VIP experience you get to sit at the soundboard and watch <gasps> it's amazing How fun. Um, and yeah this little-known show known Hamilton we have oh, tickets yes. to that. <laughs> uh, as well as a stay in New York City. So no, um, wow. it, it's, and it's this is a great silent auction or live These auction? Live, live, live auction. Right. We do uh -oh. have the battle. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. We have some stars for you to lift up. The very talented oh, Nancy yeah. Murphy will be our auctioneer. Oh, <laughs> She's going to have a lot of fun with that. And you know, that's the idea. Fun, yeah. you know, fun and celebration, and um, and then also that night we will be unveiling the new name of our gallery. Our <gasps> gallery. Oh, yeah. 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 it yesterday. <laughs> Did no. you? Those no spoilers. Yes. Yes. So, yes. so, so come to find tell out. people about the gallery because because yes. it's kind of cool and it is. It's it's beautiful, and what's what's wonderful about the gallery is um, it's you know it's very open. Um, I, I think that the design of it is did such a great job at really highlighting um, the artwork. And so every we have about nine shows a year. Um, Chris oversees you know the combination of uh, solo artists and group shows, and uh, this particular one is is our Starry Night gallery but we just had Ron Rosenstock will have a, a member show will be coming up so if you are a member mm. you can enter any of your art pieces and we'll be highlighting that and the lighting is very complimentary where there's no glare on pictures right. oh and I beautiful. think well, like, it's amazing how one of the things that I love when you walk through the gallery is that things are placed at different levels so it, it, yes. it, it draws your eyes to go up and down yeah. and, and it, so that you flow around a room in somewhat yeah. of a pattern you know, yep. it can lead you to the bar yeah <laughs> 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 it can. But well, uh, well. What this was the first time. But we it helps done you that. not miss things. It does. But this was the first time we did that, and and it was to evoke that feel of a starry yeah. night. Mm -hmm. um, and it was very tricky. Um, we had um, a, a couple of, of real professional um, uh, art gallery docents, directors. I mean, to come in to create this feel because it, it 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 you go in and you look at it. And say, oh, it just seems so easy to hang that. Oh, it is there's yeah. such an art in just hanging. Yeah. Oh, I bet. It's I amazing. Bet. You had this really cute high school girl that was putting all the stickers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our lovely volunteer that was doing that. Yes. 
Yeah, it's actually a great thing to show like the, the, the mass amounts of volunteer base that you have. Yeah. Too. We cannot survive without our volunteers. We, we're a nonprofit. We can't do that. And we have we have a tremendous amount of student volunteers, but we also have um, this this amazing group of people, many of them retired, mm -hmm. people that are looking for something to do yeah. and that they will come in and it could be anything from stuffing envelopes to hanging flyers to answering the phones or um, any other projects that we have available. Well, and, yeah. and, and those become things that are actually fill in life gaps for people. Mm -hmm. I know sure. that one of my dear friends is one of those. Yes. She may come in and play piano, she may come in and stuff envelopes, exactly. but she feels like she's become part of that. Right. Well, but another then, connecting point yeah. in Hopkinton well, is really what Exactly. This is. That's, yes. that's the goal. It's a social yeah. event, you know, so we sort of call it our coffee clutch. You know, come <laughs> in and, you know, have your coffee and sit, and, and there's plenty to do here. Mm -hmm. And it's usually something different. It could be organizing costumes, <laughs> it could yeah. be, you know, wow. organizing paint brushes or something, mm -hmm. but we're always having fun doing it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And, I, you know, in the whole nonprofit world, you realize how important between volunteers and members are mm -hmm. that you, it's. it's the term I use a lot is that it's volunteer support and membership driven. Yes. Because without the two, you don't get the larger sponsors, mm -hmm. the donors, or anything like that, because right. those two are actually what bridges it together. Mm -hmm. It's very true. And this was our first year that we actually introduced a membership. We didn't yeah. have membership before. Right. You know, we were so mm -hmm. focused on mm -hmm. raising funds for the building itself. And uh, this is our very first year um, of people becoming members. And, and that is really what's come out of it that's been a little surprising is mm -hmm. it, more so than, you know, there's benefits to membership, but it's, they wanted to feel part of it. They want right. to feel they're supporting so, the so organization. So what are the membership benefits? Yeah. Let's talk about that. So one. there are several different <coughs> levels, and the membership goes from um, starting at, you know, hearing information for the first time about events that are coming up, mm -hmm. percentages off of tickets, percentages off of classes, all the way up to percentage off of um, rentals because we do rent our space out right, as well. Right. So yeah. you could have a, a shower, yeah. you could have a wedding, you could have wow. a corporate event, um, and okay. being a member offers you a little bit of a, a benefit. Like we went that. to Scott Richardson's um, co company party yeah. there, and that, well, that was, was amazing. So much fun. And you know, mm -hmm. seeing how the space got utilized for something that wasn't a performance or yes. your gala. Or our gala. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we've had several things. We had a 30th anniversary party the other, the other day. It was wonderful. How fun! They got married on Halloween. Uh -huh. So their theme was 30 years of torment. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's it was outstanding, and it, they transformed the place to be. You know, it was like a great Halloween party. People came dressed up, and it was so we. It was a unique space, you know, for something like that. Rather well, than well, shameless just plug. We're um, RHH is yes. excited to have shopping for yes. our there again this yes, year absolutely. on December tenth. So there'll be more information about that coming up. And that is but such a wonderful, excited. lovely event. Yeah, and people yeah. really it's get excited. It's already about it. the vendors are mm. signing up, streaming like in. If yeah, you're thinking wonderful. about being part of, go on. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and and it we've had it. It too, like your your gala, ends up being sold out. So if you want to come, yeah, yeah. Um, but we love the space. And that's it's perfect. Yeah. Go to you. That's, that's right. Just that's right. amazing. Yeah. That's like amazing yeah. thing. A gift to have you come in. And yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's really We're great. excited. Yeah, really, really excited. excited. Darling's been hustling and working hard on it. And, that's awesome. And um, she always does. <laughs> she does. <laughs> she always about to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, there's so many. There's going to be th this. We'll be sending out, actually, I think yesterday we sent out our list of all of our events in November. Yes. And w we even surprised ourselves. <laughs> we well, it's a oh business. Oh, There's a lot of different things happening, a lot of holiday events. We're actually going to have our own um, uh, Santa's workshop that oh. we decided to have. Santa will be coming, and he'll be decorating cookies and telling stories. And it'll also be a time to try out some ceramics, you know, okay. to do um, a few classes and make some projects for the holidays. So... That's a fun and, night. And you've fun actually night. opened Excellent. up to do like, you know, offering free classes. Try it out, oh, yes. test it, that. put your hands on it, <laughs> yeah. touch a paintbrush, touch the wheel, know right. what you're doing, and then if you want to sign up for a class. Exactly. And really, honestly, that's become our new policy because yeah. it really um, in, invites people to, right. to try it without, you know, they might be a little hesitant. I'm not sure I'm going to like it. Right. And we said, absolutely, we totally understand that. So just mm -hmm. try the first one. And if right. you don't, that's perfectly fine. Right. Uh, most people do. They get, they get <laughs> they do. They do. Well, but it's a good it's way fun. to try it. If you don't, absolutely. if it's not for you, you don't want to commit to it. And they so. already know they're drawn to it, but that's why they want to try <laughs> exactly. it. Yeah. It's exactly. It's then making the commitment, like, all right, can I come every Tuesday night from 4 exactly. to 5? Yeah. yeah. And our teachers are really um, tuned into um, their students as well. So often when you come to try a class, if it might not be for you, they may have another suggestion or, right. or something. And, you know, it really is about enjoyment of the arts. It's about uh, the focus on the people that come into the doors, and we want you to enjoy yourself and be happy. Well, so much has happened in these three years. You know, from, goodness, I mean, 
we've lived here 20 years, but I remember it was just, of course, a little white, little, little white farmhouse. Yes. Oh my goodness, yes. that yes. concept too. Where exactly. We exactly. Yeah. I still tell yeah. the stories of back when <laughs> the PTA did their haunted house oh there. Oh yes. 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 Um, yes. And, yeah, and the whole yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It really is so much fun, and I have to say, so you know, changed. we, I, I personally, and I know Chris feels this way. We get overwhelmed at, at the support that we have received from this community and mm -hmm. beyond, um, from our, our patrons, our donors, um, that just people that come in every day and say, you know, we're glad you're here. We're you're so such happy a you're gem. here. This and is such a vibrant gem. And, and I'd be remiss. I feel we, we've now created some great cornerstones, and you were there. Mm. Last week was the, the library, library opening. The opening and well. when you look mm -hmm. at, at, to me. Chris was there. Mm -hmm. I know. Yeah, I, said Chris. I was there, yeah. too. Yeah, it was a yeah. wonderful, wonderful mm -hmm. event. But, and, but I feel like I those are, they, you, mm -hmm. you know, and there's a, a, a tangential um, sort of interlocking between the two mm -hmm. in the sense of, what you guys do for our community. Well, what a credible town we have, you know, to have these wow. two things. It's, it's an amazing I mean, place to live. It we're, really is. We're a town that tries to celebrate a lot, I think, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of galas, a lot of celebrations from yeah. the library to yours tomorrow night to, you know, we have an undefeated football team. Yes! Yes! <laughs> we have yes! a yes! you know, golf team that just, you know, won yeah. Tri Valley to the, you know, yeah. to the amazing. Um, High school theater drama group that is just yeah. just a goal. They're on oh, the To the talent show I heard last night. The talent show. Amazing. Oh my God! I saw a piece of that. Um, wow. From um, Matt Flygoff's band. That oh my God. Shared. So good. Um, oh they're my amazing. God! They were doing Stevie Wonder. They were nuts. But amazing. I mean, really, yeah. you know, you, this is a culmination tomorrow night of a celebration for the arts. Yes. A celebration Great. of what you yes. brought to the community. <laughs> and I think that <laughs> you know, as much as possible, <laughs> get out there, support. Cheers, it. guys. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank We're excited, you. looking forward to the event tomorrow night, Starry Night. Thank you. And seeing you warm. It's always more. great to see you guys. Yeah. Thank you so it's much. For Thanks for joining us, everybody. Thank you. Help your community to collect food for the project just because Hopkinton Food Pantry, the scouting for food drive. Place food items for donation in plastic bags near your mailbox by 10 a.m. on Saturday. Some items the food pantry is in most need of include gift cards, canned meats, gluten-free foods, baking items, paper and cleaning products, and toiletries. If you wish to donate but don't have enough time to shop, you can donate online. Thank you for helping our local residents in need. Together we can change the news. Find out how at safekids.org.